Richard Burns Rally has just received a remarkably solid mod to enable DK2 support. Links are in the description below. I have to say this mod puts some studios to shame with the quality of the VR implementation. You start off at a virtual desk with a live view of your monitor's output to the right. It's not really usable as all the control inputs are assigned to the game, but it shows some potential and I was able to use it to check that this video capture was working. It's an interesting way of retrofitting an older piece of software. Having the game on a screen like this means that all the menus are shown exactly the way you remember them, which saves having to make any drastic changes to the way the game is presented. In the case of Richard Burns Rally, the menus were never designed for widescreen, so here they are shown on a virtual monitor with the correct aspect ratio. I can imagine many older games being retrofitted for virtual reality in this way. Then you're given a cheesy rift to face animation as the sim starts up, which somehow reminds me of looking at my watch in Goldeneye, which I always found amusing. Then you're in the car, and it works very well without any adjustment. Despite the lack of a body, I immediately feel very engaged with the car, and it's apparent that the sense of scale that you gain in VR is a really big deal for rally driving. It means you can confidently throw the car down really narrow roads, as you'll instinctively know how much space you have to play with. 90 right, 100. I'd recommend taking the time to go into the settings to adjust the in-game wheel rotation to match your real wheel, as without a body, you'll be more reliant on looking at that virtual wheel for assurance that you're really connected. Fast left, fast right, this sim is now over 10 years old, yet it remains the benchmark for off-road physics, so it's still an absolute joy to drive, and the muted colour palette means it still holds up pretty well visually too. This mod has given Richard Burns Rally a whole new lease of life, and I'd recommend it to anyone with a DK2, if anything just to look at the interesting menu system. A word of warning, this is a full-blown simulator, it's not like the WRC or Dirt series of games, so you definitely need a wheel and a lot of practice.